Hello everyone and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. This is episode 3. Um, remember last time we had a pretty good run, but uh, we faced a couple bosses that I, I just didn't, I wasn't familiar with them. Uh, the, the Steve dude was the exact same as the other guy with the, the twin. The steroid dude and the little tiny twin. It was kind of like, uh, you ever seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? The twins are separated or whatever it's called. It's kind of like that. Anyway face that guy and then we face some devil looking dude that I've only fought once or twice I think he was called the fallen uh, I was definitely not familiar with his uh, his attack so we got dominated fairly quickly nevertheless again here we are trying to defeat mom and here we go as always we're gonna play with Isaac until we beat it with Isaac and then we're gonna use some other characters uh, Magdalene will probably be my next choice simply because she has higher health like I said last time, uh, I tend to, my style tends to be more towards the tank, high health uh, characters. That's not to say I don't enjoy, you know, the uh, high risk, high reward guys either. All right, Grandfather Fly, come on. Stop messing with me here. Oh, I got some double flies. Uh, okay, oop, dodge skills, dodge skills. Boom, kill those. All right, got two bombs, and awesome. Grab these turd smiley faces quick, see if we get anything out of them. Nope, all right. Definitely wouldn't mind getting a uh, little Steve again. That was pretty awesome. And the, uh, the quick uh, little rock that we got, the damage up. I feel like I pretty much uh, squandered my my chances last time. I feel like that was a good, uh, pretty pretty damn good setup to have to go the whole way. But uh, I choked and it didn't happen. So I'm gonna try to redeem myself a little bit here. These guys are fairly simple to take out. No big deal. They look a lot scarier than they are. Kill them. I don't see any blue rocks in this one, so let's go to the next. Oh man, big ass green father, uh, grandfather clock. Yeah, grandfather clock. <laughs> grandfather fly, rather. Try to take out everything and then focus on this guy. Man, that is some huge damage. How big that tier was, and I think the the colored enemies are obviously harder. Yeah, but they, I think they always drop. They drop a pretty decent item, which is which is nice. What is this? I think this is Roid Rage uh, speed and range. Okay. Oh yeah, this thing like maximizes our speed almost. Oh no. Okay, so four. That's pretty. That's pretty dang impressive. How do we? Okay, space bar. I was, I was gonna say, how do we go back there without? Um. All right. So where is the secret room? I believe it's down here. And indeed, it's not. Oh, it could be over here too. We got some bombs to waste, so might as well waste them. Boom! All right, here we go. Secret room. A quick six coins. Not bad, not bad. Kill the fire if we can hit it here. And we get a heart that we absolutely do not need. But we got six coins out of it, so it's definitely a fair trade. Take that any day of the week. Let's go right to the boss. What do we got? We got Steven. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how I actually unlocked him. Yeah, I really don't know what I did to unlock him, but nevertheless, he's already tired. So you get for doing steroids, man. Among other, ooh, look at see how we dodge that. That's where speed comes in right there. We definitely would have been hurt had we been slower. Oh, this guy detaches. Super annoying. This is by by far, honestly, by far the most annoying. I know I said Duke of well, okay, Duke of Flies is the hardest. He's my in my opinion, he's at least my least favorite, even though I know a lot of people think that he's one of the easier bosses. I don't know, I disagree. The fact that this guy moves around and is insanely hard to oh, I should have saw that coming. Insanely hard to target, I think makes him definitely one of the harder uh, harder bosses. I probably think the easier, the easiest boss in the basement would be probably Larry Jr. The only reason he's difficult is because his moves, his movements are random. You don't really know where he's, 
I almost ran right into that one. Little Steven again. That's so clutch. We needed him. Didn't get anything else, though, so we're going to drop down. What is this? Oh, we're inside. Well, I guess we're claustrophobic or something. Poor guy. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to angle these guys. The speed definitely helps in uh, being able to do this, that's for sure. Even though our aim isn't too great. Still getting them. Awesome. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. This one I'm gonna have to kinda pop out and shoot it straight. Uh. 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 Yeah, again, that speed really helps. And this guy, out of out of range, so we can easily take him out. Let's go up. Holy fire, Batman. That was definitely a cluster F right there. And we got some more of these freaking annoying things. All they really do is run away from you and uh, vomit or belch flies out. We don't have any keys, so we can't get in that room, which is... Severely unfortunate. Take these guys out. Stay out of their range. Fairly simple. We're gonna keep that guy in the crap for now. Oh no. Almost uh almost outsmarted me there. Take him out. Open this guy up. We should be able to take him out before he even gets he doesn't even wake up. Doesn't even know what happened. Woke up and he was dead. Some of these meat wads, these sack of meat. I'm gonna call them meat wads. Tribute, of course, to Aqua Teen Hunger Force. If you guys have seen it, it's amazing. Ooh, treasure chest, four coins. That's pretty good. And I actually just realized we have not gone to the right yet, so let's do that. Let's kill these double flies, these fly squareds. And we get a key. Awesome, I needed that. Now we can go in the treasure room. Nothing from that. All right. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's go down here first. Let's not get too excited. We got some of these. I think this is uh, called a gish, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, they're exact same as the uh, the meat wads, but they shoot in a diagonal line. They don't shoot in a horizontal, vertical line. And you know what? I think we're gonna go in the arcade. Now, what can we do in here? I don't know if I should just blow everything up or play the. Uh, yeah, let's play the slots. Why not? That's fun. Might as well play the slots and then blow everything up. Alright, so far we're having the worst luck ever. This is not cool. Not cool at all, man. Alright, well, at least we get two coins back for our trouble. Yeah, this is really poor luck. Alright, take that. I almost never bother playing with this guy over here. He like I can never follow the skull. It's way too fast. I basically ended up end up giving him my entire fortune and he laughs in my face. What is this? Oh man, I thought that was a I thought that was for us. Key, I needed that. This isn't a complete waste. And a pill. What does this do? Speed up, awesome. We didn't even need speed up, man. Our speed is like our speed is five now. That is insane. I think that is actually the highest I've ever had my speed. Alright, honestly, we've had the worst luck ever with this thing, so we're gonna blow it up. And it gives us one coin. No, nah, that's fine. Blow this up, and we get a heart. I can't say I didn't see that coming. Blow him up, and we get a bomb and a key. Awesome. So that was pretty good. Overall, definitely worth it. Let's go to the right. And nothing but fires. Of course, we gotta blow them all up. Or rather, extinguish them so we can uh, see if they have items in them or not. And we get one coin for our time. Uh, I think that was probably worth it. Skillfully maneuver this and go into this treasure room here, see what we get. Uh, I think this is a rosemary. A rosary? Yeah, a rosemary. Faith up. I don't actually know what that does. Oh, we get three hearts out of it. Alright, I'll take that. 
I wonder if there's any permanent effects though. Let's see what's in here. Uh, so we got the nothing we can afford. So that was a complete waste. But I think that was the Bible, the Book of Shadows, and the bomb. From what I, I think, from what I've read, the the Bible actually can like insta win you the game or something when you're when you're up against mom. I don't know. I haven't actually used. I haven't actually gotten to that point with the Bible, so I don't know. But you guys can let me know if I'm wrong on that. So it's fighting Larry Jr. here. He hits us once, which is unfortunate and kind of makes me angry. I don't like getting hit by Larry. He's not the not the sharpest worm in the shed, if you know what I mean. Take him out rather easily. It's got to get past all this crap. All these piles of turds. Turd piles, if you will. Come on, man. Come on, Larry. There we go. And we get a devil room. Sweet. And we get an HP up. I'm definitely feeling good about this one, too, man. I think, feel like we have... Okay. Um, so we have the cat again. I don't like using the cat. Maybe that's because I'm a noob. I just don't feel like it's worth two hearts. I don't actually remember what this one is. I think it's brimstone. Um, and if I'm mistaken, it's not worth it. Brimstone, um, uh, basically it turns you into a devil, kind of like looking like this guy here. And you actually shoot lasers out of your mouth. But the caveat is that you have to charge it. I've actually, I think I've had it once or twice. I didn't actually like it. So we're going to go out. That might have been the biggest new decision of my life. But that's... I don't know. That's what I decided. All right. So uh, we're going to try to find the secret room quick. Hopefully it's in this guy. And it is, luckily. And we get the... Okay, awesome. My little unicorn, baby. I'll definitely try to remember to use it, too. I feel like this is most effectively used on, on a boss. So we're going to probably use it right here in this boss room. Uh, that we already defeated. So we're going to use it in the cave's boss. Dropping down. Isaac suffocating. I don't know if that's what his mom did to him as punishment or something. It's, it's, it's pretty cruel, though. Face these stupid things that I absolutely do not like at all. They're more annoying than challenging. I mean, yeah, see? It's just super annoying. All they do is open up and spit little blood things at you. And their insides look like intestines or something. It's gross. Are they spitting like... Some kind of stomach bile at me or something. All right, so you know what? I'm thinking that using one bomb to get two bombs is definitely worth it. Let's grab those. All right, definitely gotta do some maneuvering here. I hate how much help these guys have. So annoying, these little flying heads. Take these guys. Now we got, all we got is this little silkworm things. These little fat fuckers. Take them out. And I'm definitely going to blow this up. Spending a bomb to get a bomb and a, and a soul heart is absolutely worth it. And this is absolutely even more worth it. I will definitely take that trade. Hate these things. And I hate especially uh, five of them together. Should be able to do some work here with uh, my little boy, little Steve here. My man. Pretty much just let his homing bombs, or uh, not homing bombs, but homing tears rather, do the work. These guys are super annoying. But they're not entirely, they're not that challenging. They're just, you gotta like, be sharp. Because they will try to corner you. And they are rather fast, so. Now, the fortunate thing is that we are super fast, so they're pretty much ineffective. Their speed is ineffective, rather. Oh, these guys are going to definitely do some damage to me. I hate these guys so much. If I had to pick out my least favorite character in The Binding of Isaac so far, it would definitely be these guys, honestly. They're just a pain in the they're, they're a pain in the dick and they're they're extremely challenging actually because they're always in uh, they're always in groups of at least like three or four. All right, 
Let's take these sacks of flies out. Whatever the hell these things are. All right, this that angle is not working. Straight for our way out of the the uh, grandfather flies uh, blood tears, whatever the hell they are. All right, terror card in a treasure chest for one bomb. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lootly Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Well, the Wheel of Fortune generates a what do you call it? Freaking lottery thing. Can't think of the name right now. Humongous brain fart. But we're gonna use this pill. Bombs are key. Okay. I don't actually know what that does. I, I mean, I know it like transfers some of your bombs as keys, but I still have two bombs. Maybe that's the minimum. Maybe it always leaves two bombs or something. I don't know. And a slot machine. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. It generates a slot machine. Which actually might be pretty useful right now because... And another, another pill. Let's use that. Balls of steel. Man, we're getting fortunate with the pills. I've had some really terrible pills before. There's one pill that makes you look completely retarded, which... It's hilarious, but it does absolutely nothing. Let's go in here. Mushroom, I don't actually know what this does. Damage up, I will take that. What are we at now? We're at two damage, so I don't actually know what that did. Did it actually increase our damage or did it simply make our head bigger? I don't know. Maybe it only increases my ego. Tell you what, man. Look, Isaac's looking pretty badass right now, though. He's looking mean. He's looking ready to uh, ready to take on Mom, I think. So I'm pretty feeling. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. You know, I said that last time, and then I utterly, uh, utterly failed. Killed him first try. That's awesome. That was rather dumb of me. Just stay there. Take this disgusting looking creature out. Boom. And we get a troll bomb for our troubles. Hmm. Key with a maze. All right. That's fine. Well worth the uh, 10 second walk there. Oh, these stupid pieces of crap. All right. We're just going to go around in a circle. That seems to be the most... Uh, keep moving is the most effective strategy for these guys, I think. And the fact that little Steve has a homing bomb, or a homing tears, rather. It's pretty clutch. Let's get this treasure chest that's in here. Hopefully we get a bomb out of it. No, we don't. We get a pill. We have so many pills this game. Holy crap. Full health. I will take that. And let's head down. There are more rooms here. Take this guy out. Both of these guys. Little fly hives. I don't know what to call these guys. I'm going to call them annoying. How about that? Take this fly out. Why aren't you dying? Here we go. Piece of cake. All right. Oh, we get a key for our trouble. Awesome. Definitely key rich right now, and we're doing pretty decent on bombs. Two bombs is all right. So the what I like to do before I go into the uh, boss room is I always like to open up the secret room. I think it's right here. Indeed, it is. And slot machine. Yeah, let's we'll do it. We'll do it. We got pretty lucky last time. We got lucky this time in nickel. That is awesome. You know what? We have 20 cents. I want to go see what's over here in the, uh, the item room first. All right, so we got the Bible. We got tarot card, bomb, key, and a heart. Mm, nothing that I really want right now. I think we need another bomb. Honestly, so we'll get that and that's I think that's the only thing we're gonna get here. Yeah So let's go back I'm pretty stupid. We can't actually go back in there without using another bomb. So we're not gonna do that We're gonna go back. We're gonna go to the uh, the boss let's See what's up And we got fistula this time this guy isn't too bad Worst thing I hate about him is he uh, he spits he spawns the uh, the stupid little silkworms that I hate. 
And the fact that he splits into like 10 pieces. This probably isn't the best place for me to hide, honestly. Up, 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 up. All right, got one down. Like four or five hundred more to go. Try to take these things out. All right, successfully took that one out. And we got hit. Doing pretty good though. We still, I mean, we still have two, uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he killed him. Still have two, uh, soul hearts, so feeling pretty good. I know I said I would use the, uh, my little unicorn item. I, I never, I never remember to use that. I don't know why. Man, we are so health rich right now. Ooh, I don't know what either one of these do. I don't know what the book is, the seven, oh, I think it's the seven sins book. If I remember correctly, that's not terribly useful. I could be wrong. I don't think it's worth replacing my unicorn, uh, my little horn, so. Definitely gonna take this, uh, Sister Maggie, though. Now we got two little, uh, two little bros next to us. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I guess a bro and a sis, I don't know. That's definitely gonna help us, though. I do know that. All right, so descending into the caves, too. I'm feeling really good about this. What did we get here? We got, uh, what is that? hair or something? A wig? I don't know what that was. Whatever it was, that girl didn't like it. Alright. I am feeling really confident about this run. We got little Steve. We got... Ooh, this is probably going to suck a little bit. We didn't take any damage there. Look at that. <laughs> as soon as I said that, we take damage, of course. We got Sister Maggie and Little Steve, so we are. This is definitely a party. Oh, we got uh, three Gishes, one giant, gross green one. These guys aren't too bad though. The trick, the trick of these guys I found is to stay like right next to them in a in a horizontal line of fire, um, because they do shoot diagonally. So if you stay next to them, they won't hit you this guy out. We have so many tears going right now. Look at that. Oh, take these flies out. Not a big deal. Of course I get hit, obviously. Oh, man. Uh, that nickel, that six cents is definitely worth taking damage, I think. Yeah. These two coins aren't, though, so we're not going to do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get him with uh, the homing? Oh, I can. Open up, open up. Open up, dude. Alright, I'm knocking on your shell. I mean, the strategy with these guys is kind of just a hit and run sort of deal. Not a whole lot to it. Let's take these out. That should be it. Uh, you know what? Let's get right... Let's get right next to him. I think one more shot is going to kill him anyway. Yep. Open this treasure room up, and we get... What is that? Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, you know what? I think this is... I think that is the item that does... Um, it does the ability of a random item every time. Not the most useful thing in the world. But this, however, is. Let's go to the arcade. Spend some moolah. Another coin. Coin for a coin, all right. And I get to satisfy my gambling problem. I don't actually have a gambling problem. But Isaac does, clearly. So many hearts that I don't need. So far, we're getting pretty lucky here. We're getting I mean, lots of hearts that we don't need. Oh, we're getting nickels. I feel like we're going to be here for a while. I feel like we're going to be here for a long while. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think we're going to go down to 15 cents if we ever run out. All right, you know what? We're just getting a ridiculous amount of stuff. So we're just going to blow it up. It's going to blow everything up. Before that guy even gets a chance to show us off his, his sweet little moves. 
We're gonna blow it up. Let's see what we get. More coins. Oh, we get a soul heart. Awesome. Look how many hearts are in this room. Holy hearts, Batman. All right, we got more soap. Whoa, 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 whoa. More silkworms. I didn't realize that these were actually uh, the ones that follow you. Or that chase after you like uh, psychopath stalkers. Take him out. All right, we get a bomb and a, and a coin. These guys I've faced before. This is definitely not the ideal level to be facing these guys. I can't even move really because all the spikes. Not ideal. Dodge Tim, that was pretty skillful, if I may say so myself. Blow him up. We didn't dodge it that time though, so that was not cool. Just a matter of kind of evading them and uh, trying to take them out. There we go. All right, one more, one more, one more. Awesome, okay. Didn't take too much damage there. Actually, you know what? Let's go in the item shop because might be something terrific in here for 15. Oh, or there might be greed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, greed, be nice now. Be nice. We are totally destroying this guy, though. You gotta face three people now, dude. How do you like that? So many coins. Explosion of coins in a key. Man, I wonder how many coins you've gotten this time. I know there's a guy that you have to unlock, you have to get 55 coins uh, to unlock. I definitely think we've done that, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if it's you have to have 55 coins on your person at one time or just collect them through the game, like as you progress. Doesn't matter if you spend them or not. I don't know. But I do know that these guys are super annoying because they teleport. Kill them off. Go up here. These guys should be no big deal. This is a really long level. And we got that, so that allows us to go in here. And we get a skeleton key, that's so clutch. Oh, it actually gives us a hole, <laughs> a keyhole on our forehead. I didn't realize that. Look at this, we just look so badass right now. Unbelievably badass, freaking bamp. Got the skull key in our head now, no big deal. 99 keys, man. I got 99 keys, but a bomb ate one, you know what I mean? No problem killing these guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, ready? Power Rangers, assemble! We timed that one perfectly, honestly. I don't know how he didn't die. All right, guys, come on. Get with me, get with me here, get with me here. Uh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Dead. Man, I got such a good feeling. We're doing really well, guys. We're doing really well. Let's see if we can get a shot off here, though. The hard thing here is when there's so many of them, it's hard to get a shot off. But we got one there. We're doing pretty well. And he still didn't die yet. Holy health. Alright. Now I think... Alright, let's try to get the secret room here. We only have two bombs left, but I think it... Oh, you know what? It could be down there, too, in the bottom right. Damn it, it is. I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna save the bomb, just in case we need it for the boss. And it's Gertie, who is relatively challenging. Key is you gotta take these things out really quick. These little pustules that spit out... You gotta take him out as soon as, as soon as possible. Now the one nice thing is that we're so quick that we can easily evade his spit. And as I say that, I get hit. Make me eat my own words as usual. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not, not terribly challenging actually. I've had much worse times with Gertie though, and I haven't had as good uh, as good of items. Actually, you know what? Let's just use this. We never use it. Let's just finish him off with this. I feel like that's appropriate. There we go. We get some dog food for our troubles. Six hearts we have here. Six hearts. You know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try real quick to get 
go into the secret room and get the item here. See what it see what it is at least. Probably uh it's probably money, but that's fine. I can always use some more money. And it is a slot machine. Uh you know what? I'll just put in four coins. Using the slot machine 29 times seems pretty boring. Especially when you're getting more coins. But just try our hand here, see what we get. Not much, just one coin. All right, let's go to the next uh, the next level, which I believe is the depths, which is where I have the most of my problems. The previous, I think I've only made it to the depths twice, two or three times now, but give me a lot of trouble. All right, let's do it. Already got the teleporters. Now I know the key. The key with these teleporting guys is to pay attention to the shadows. As I say that, I'm getting completely dominated. Alright, we don't have a bomb yet, so we can't open that guy up. Man, I'm already down two hearts. This is not good. Oh, we got these head guys that freak me out. And then they turn into my worst nightmare. How wonderful. Keep, take that guy from it and we get a troll bomb. That's not the kind of bomb I needed. I needed a normal bomb Let's go to the left here. It's like Beyonce are These guys warpers too man these warpers are so hard I'm just gonna rotate around the room and see you wow these guys are these guys are messing my day up That's the thing you can't they warp so you can't you can't get away from them. That's why they're so hard. Gotta pay attention to the shadows. All right, two bombs. All right, we're definitely going back here. I'm hoping that uh, this treasure chest contains at least one health container. Please give me health. Oh, a troll bomb. <laughs> that one scared me a little bit. We did get a health, which is nice. Let's just go straight up. Oh, these stupid, these stupid things. So the thing is, with these little brains sliding their uh, their blood across the uh, the floor, is that you can't run over their little streak, the little trail that they leave until it until it completely goes away, because it will damage you. Wow, we are really getting. This game must know I don't like these things at all, because it is just giving them giving them to me, not in a good way. But this seems to be working. As I say that, I get hit, of course. All right, two more, and I get hit again. Ah! Uh, at least I get half heart for my troubles. That's so frustrating when I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I should be able to not get hit there and I keep getting hit. Uh, these things aren't terribly bad. Really, they're just programmed to go around. God, always eating my words. They kind of go around the same path. They can be tricky. Uh, they can be tricky in groups, but overall they're not terrible. Should be able to take this guy out fairly easy. We only have one and a half hearts left. Oh man. We need like a full heal or something. That's what we need. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Oh my god. The dodge skills. And then as I say that, I get hit. You know, we got to use this target the big guys yeah we had to use it absolutely had to use it let's go in here and see if we get uh, anything useful ah oh, man absolutely not well you know what this is kind of useful treasure map it shows us the whole this is really long I'm no longer feeling good about this run honestly I don't have much health right now unless I get a full heal then I'll feel a lot better or some serious health action All right, gotta be really careful here. Definitely trying to beat this for you guys. I mean, and you know, definitely my pride too. <laughs> gotta dodge the grandfather here. All right, this guy's spitting out too. That's not cool. 
Awesome. Not a heart, though. I'll take a bomb, too, but... Oh, no, these guys. Oh, no, this is the end of me. I know it. This is the end, dude. No, can't say that. Gotta have faith. You have to hit their brains. You can't... If you hit them in the face... Ah. And there it is. Man, so close. So close, and yet so far away. Well, that was quite possibly the longest run of Binding of Isaac uh, in the history of Binding of Isaac. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, we're hopefully the next one will be the one. Thanks for watching.